Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to be trying out some Japanese frozen food that I bought at the local supermarket. Japan has a lot of interesting frozen food and that's very different from the frozen food that you can find, for example, in the US. When I lived in Hawaii, I remember there being frozen pizzas, frozen dinners. Here in Japan, we also have a variety of frozen food that might be different from the ones you can find in your country. So let's get started because I have a lot of food today. So the first thing we're going to be trying out is the Torori Takoyaki from Table Mart Company. It comes in a little package like this and I believe there are six takoyaki balls in here. There we go. Look at that. So that is the takoyaki sauce they're going to put on later. And this is the tray of takoyaki. If you didn't know already, takoyaki is an Osaka specialty. These are uh, round uh, batters of flavorful deliciousness and there is a taco or an octopus in the center of the balls. So I have zapped it in the microwave for 3 minutes and 30 seconds and it is ready. It's so piping hot. As soon as it came out from the oven, I can smell the dashi aroma. It smells so good. I'm going to pour the sauce on top, the takoyaki sauce right on top. Now some people like to eat takoyaki with salt. That's me. But since this came with um, the takoyaki sauce, I'm going to eat it with takoyaki sauce today. You know what would make this perfect though is they've included a package of aonori seaweed and katsu obushi bonito flakes. That will make it perfect. But anyway, let's give it a try. Itadakimasu! Make sure it's not too hot. Mmm! Mmm! Mmm, that's pretty good. Oh, it's so hot. Mmm, mmm. Really good flavor. I can taste the green onions. I taste the red ginger. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I just had a piece of octopus. There was a small piece of octopus that was tender, which is great. I think what stands out about this takoyaki is the fact that they use really good dashi or broth. Really, really good broth. Like, I could probably eat this with just salt because the dashi flavor is really nice. Just be careful not to burn your mouth. Mmm, oh shit. I love takoyaki, don't you? Moving on guys, before I get stuffed. If I eat too slowly, I get stuffed pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna keep moving on here. Now the next one I'm going to be trying out is the omuraisu. Tamago ga funwari omuraisu. This is also a microwaveable version. And this is from the company called Nishin. And this one we microwave it for 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Alright guys, so the omuraisu is ready. And I gotta say, it looks really nice. It's super super fluffy. It actually looks almost homemade. Yeah, it's beautiful. And usually I like to put ketchup on the top, but I think I'm gonna try it as is first. Isn't that a beauty? Okay, let's take a bite. Ooh, very, very fluffy. Super fluffy omelet. And that's the chicken rice on the inside. Let's give it a try. Hot, hot. Mmm, mmm. Wow, that egg omelet is super fluffy. It's really nice. And the chicken rice is also quite delicious. Mm, it's made with ketchup. You can taste the ketchup. I can taste a little bit of butter, but it's not too buttery. But the standout is the egg itself. The omelet is very, very fluffy. I am curious to see if there are any peas or carrots in here or even, you know, pieces of chicken. So let's dig a little deeper. Ooh. There we go. There is a pea there and also a piece of carrot as well. That's pretty good. I gotta say that's pretty good. You actually don't need any ketchup, but I'm gonna put some ketchup on anyway. Usually when you go to the restaurant, it's served with ketchup, which is the old-fashioned way, or demi-glace sauce. 
which is like the newer way. That's my ketchup. Let's take one more bite of this delicious omuraisu. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm trying this out, guys. I'm discovering frozen food. Japanese frozen food, which we don't really eat that often. I would definitely buy this again. I'm kind of impressed. This is pretty good. The next two are from Lawson 100 store. Lawson 100 store is part, part of the Lawson convenience store group. However, um, they specialize in items that cost 100 yen. And these two items are 100 yen. Can you believe it? So this one is from the Lawson Valley line. Yeah, they actually have their own brand for that particular shop. And this is a, a Salisbury steak. In Japanese, we simply call it hambagu. And there are, are two patties of hambagu in here. And it's microwavable. The second thing I got is the tarezuke karage, chicken karage, which is Japanese fried chicken. But um, it's a, uh, it's a uh, served with um, like a sweet sour sauce, I think. So both of these are 100 yen. I'm gonna microwave these. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have cooked both the hamburger patties as well as the chicken. So let's try the burgers. Let's try the hambagu first. So I cut into it and first thing I notice is that it's very, very tender. It's very moist and very fluffy. Fluffy might be the wrong word, but it's very fluffy and bouncy. I think I see pieces of onions in there as well. Hmm. 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 Actually, that's not half bad. It's not half bad. It's not 100% ground beef, but that's not what I was expecting anyway because this is 100 yen for two patties. So that's like too cheap for that price. But it doesn't taste weird. It actually tastes good. It tastes more like a, like a blend of maybe a little bit of beef, pork, and even chicken. So let's put a little ketchup on this piece right here. You can also eat this with demura sauce, and I think it'll even be great with uh, some gravy. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually not bad. But you know, I gotta say, if you are expecting like that meaty, beefy taste, you know, from like 100%, you know, like how you get from like 100% beef patty, you're not gonna get that. This is completely different. Hmm. I like it. It's pretty good. Yeah, let's go on to the chicken. This was also 100 yen. There are five pieces of karage chicken. Definitely not crispy, but why is it so cheap? It's only 100 yen. Hmm. Hmm. The flavor of the sauce is really nice. It's not sweet and sour. It's more like a sweet teriyaki sauce, I think. I do taste chicken, but I feel like in this one, there's more batter to chicken meat. Mm. I get like pieces of chicken while I'm eating it, but I get more batter, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, I guess, <laughs> if you like the taste of batter. Um, but I'm not gonna complain. For, you know, 100 yen for five pieces. I mean, you cannot go wrong. I mean, that's such a good price. Um, once again, the flavor of the sauce is really nice. I do wish there was a little bit more chicken though. We're gonna move on to the next one. This is called Wild Dish. And I actually tried something like this before, but this is the first time I'm trying this particular flavor. This one is char siu fried rice. And this is the bowl. You don't need to transfer this to a plate or anything. We're gonna microwave this. You just put it directly into the microwave, just like this, and it's ready. Okie dokie, this one is done. Out of the microwave. It's very, very hot. We're gonna be using this as the plate. So we simply cut off the top, and we fluff up the rice like this. It smells amazing, it smells amazing. I actually am a huge fan of these instant fried rices that they have here in Japan. Hmm. This is good. 
It's like restaurant quality, guys. It really is. This one has so many ingredients in here. Immediately, I taste the egg. I got some char siu roast pork in my mouth. Green onions, there's carrots, there's onions. This one has so many flavors and textures going on. Mmm, mmm. Rice is cooked perfectly. Seasoned very well, not too salty. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, next one is sara udon. Nagasaki style sara, sara, sara udon. And these are dry noodles, they're crispy noodles. So it comes like this. These are the crispy noodles right here. So we simply transfer this to a plate. And this is the part that we have to microwave. So we put this right on top of a plate like this. And this goes into the microwave and we pour this over the noodles once it's warmed up. So we've warmed up the sauce, we poured it over the noodles, and I gotta say, I'm super impressed with the, the visuals. The noodles are crispy, but I'm impressed with the amount of ingredients, the veggies. I see pork, squid, corn, um, and even shrimp in here. Wow, that looks good. That looks really good. If this is good, I'm definitely gonna buy this again. Definitely, definitely. Now, um, my sister and my mother, they like to eat this with vinegar right away, but my uh, suggestion is to try it first on its own because it does already have flavor. And if you want, you can add some vinegar to it. Mmm. Mmm. That makes me super happy. Super, super flavorful sauce. And the veggies are for, I don't know, for some reason still a little bit crispy. So it's cooked really well. I'm actually amazed at how good frozen food is. I don't know why we don't eat much frozen food. Mmm. That is good. Personally, I can eat it just like this. I don't need anything. It has so much flavor already. Oh, delicious. Okay, the next one is interesting. Also interesting because uh, this is a uh, Hokkaido ramen. This is miso ramen. You don't need any water. All you need is a pot. I have my pot right here. Check it out guys. So it comes frozen like this. That's the soup and that's the noodles right there. Gotta peel off the plastic first and we just dump this right into the pot like this. Look at that, you got all your bean sprouts, green onions, that's some ground pork, the memma, bamboo. And then you just turn on the heat and you just cook it. Now we're gonna make the heat a little bit stronger and then we cook for a further six minutes. So it's been about three minutes guys, you can see that the soup is completely melted, the noodles are still half frozen, still needs to be cooked a little bit longer, but it's getting there. Alright guys, I think it is ready. It is ready. Okay, I'm gonna transfer this into a ramen bowl. I thought maybe I, sh I, I could just eat it out of the pot, but nah, I'm gonna properly transfer it to a bowl. Looks more delicious this way. Look at that. It looks so legit, guys. So this is Hokkaido Miso Ramen. I'm really, really critical when it comes to miso ramen. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm! That's pretty good! Mmm! Oh yeah! It has a nice richness and depth. It's a little bit sweet, but of course, you know, savory because it's miso and it has a lot of umami in here. Oh, that's such good soup! Well, I like the green onions in the soup. So let's try some of the noodles. By the way, you see there's the memma here, got the green onions. I wonder if there's any meat in here. I don't see any char siu, maybe no char siu. I think there were like uh, pieces of ground meat in here. Yeah, there's ground meat inside the soup. Okay, let's try some of the noodles. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. The noodles have a nice chew to it, has a nice bite. It goes really well with the soup. Oh, the flavor of the soup is amazing. 
a lot of people say they don't like miso ramen because it tastes like miso soup. I used to feel the exact same way until I had a really good miso ramen. The memma, the bamboo shoot. Mmm, nice and crunchy. Good flavor. That's so good, it's so comforting guys. I'm gonna end up with dessert. And this is taiyaki, frozen taiyaki. Now, on the package it says you can simply defrost it and enjoy. You can also eat it warm in the oven. But you know what? Since it's been out already, it's been out for at least half an hour. I'm just gonna eat it defrosted. I've never had like a cold taiyaki before. So let's do that. Three, four, five pieces. So that's my taiyaki right here. This is very, very traditional Japanese sweets. Uh, outside is kind of like pancake, I guess. And it's on the inside, it's um, filled with azuki bean paste. And on the inside, it looks like this. Oh yeah. Oiso. I love azuki. When I was younger though, I hated azuki. Yeah, hate is a strong word, but that's how much I didn't like azuki. I didn't like beans in general until I became an adult. And now I'm a fan of pretty much almost any kind of beans. Mm. Mm. Don't want to waste the azuki. Mm. It's actually kind of nice cold. Mm. The azuki itself, it's like azuki ice cream because it's pretty much thawed already, but it's cold, so I like that. However, the batter part, I think it's definitely better when it's warmed up. Mm. Because when it's warmed up, it becomes soft and fluffy. But right now, it's not that soft. Still though, it's pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. But I think I recommend this warm. I think it's better warm. Oh my gosh. I'm actually starting to sweat because this actually took me over an hour. My favorite was definitely the noodles. The crispy noodles was my favorite. Because that one is a little bit hassle to make. Really easy to make, but kind of hassle because you have to cut up the vegetables and the meat and the, the seafood and then you know make the sauce and then pour it over the noodles whereas this one you just kind of warm it up and that's it so i i'm a huge fan of that and my second favorite i have to say would be the miso ramen yeah i I, cho I chose two noodle dishes as my favorite and my third favorite was the omuraisu actually would that that might be my second favorite yeah let's put the omuraisu before the miso ramen Mm, they're equally good. Mm, omuraisu first and then the miso ramen. <laughs> Those are my number one, two, three favorites. So which one was your favorite? Which one looked the best to you? Let me know in the comments down below. And you know, I would love to know what kind of frozen foods you have in your country and what are some of your favorite frozen foods in your country. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!